9.26 a.m. I'm a fan. This is Dr. John Belcher calling. You ruptured your biceps tendon. Um, certainly that is something that uh, should be fixed. We're going to put a scope in. So you get a little poke on the top here. That's where the shaving device goes in and the portal for the scope goes in the back. So we'll look inside there. We'll just kind of clean up the shoulder on the inside. Uh, just because we don't want to leave that little stuff flipping around. That takes about five minutes. And then the rest of it is just a matter of making the incision here, finding the tendon. As we prepared for our entry into the sports rehabilitation markets, we had been discussing the need for a comprehensive end-to-end -end kind of story of an athlete's recovery not long before. And uh, then suddenly, in a matter of seconds, I suddenly found myself as the athlete, which was something that I hadn't necessarily anticipated. Suddenly, in my case, my right hand, which I had no idea how right hand dominant I was, uh, was suddenly out of commission. And it was a very interesting time to focus on the rehabilitative applications of my own product. All right, gentlemen, gonna roll camera. I uh, was training a uh, UFC star, light heavyweight, uh, Brandon Vera, while we were in the middle of a workout. He fell off center, I lunged out to grab him and uh, suffered a ruptured biceps tendon. Now I'm going to uh, want to use the TRX for rehab, which God knows helped your breeze, look where he is. In January of 2006, I had surgery to repair a, basically a dislocated right shoulder. You know, my throwing shoulder as a quarterback, it happened the last game of the season, which in a lot of cases would be a career ending injury. And at that moment, I tried to seek out exactly what it was gonna take and who I could align myself with in order to uh, get myself back to being not only where I was before, but better than I was before. And TRX was a huge part of that. So the goals that I, I set out for myself at the highest level use the TRX in the earliest stages to regain mobility, range of motion, and then to regain stability and the ability to control the limb, and then eventually to, to begin building strength, and finally to make my 45th year the strongest year that I've had on earth. I had a bicep tendon rupture, and so the, the main question was just whether it was a complete rupture or whether there was you know, a remnant of the tendon and it was, it was severed and the uh, bicep had rolled down into the elbow. So in terms of, of loss of function, you were talking about losing, yeah. it's, you don't really perceive much of the shoulder, right? Now, at the shoulder level, you won't lose a whole lot of function. In the elbow, you'll regain all the elbow function you would have had. Dr. Belzer at uh, CPMC used, has been a very high-level orthopedic surgeon, worked on NFL teams. He had seen many of these, basically said, yeah, you've got a ruptured tendon, and uh, you're probably in for a six-month ride uh, to just to get back to where you are. And, uh, you know, there's going to be some work involved here. Oh, yeah, that's as good as can be expected. Maybe better. I'm certainly doing better than this guy over here. So we'll make that incision here. We'll drill a hole in the bone, pass the tendon back through that, suture it back down to the place where it belongs. Um, the other thing is I'm going to put a lot of long-acting Novocaine in your shoulder. Uh, one of the things we do do is an inner scaling block. I've not found this operation to be that painful because we're kind of operating here. It's actually just going like between muscles, not through the muscle. Oh, great. The thing that's going to hurt the most is I am going to drill a couple holes in the bone. It doesn't hurt, I mean...